But you know, it's funny when, um, whenever I see this uh, show, the David Letterman show, which I was addicted to back in the US, you know, he does a new show now on Netflix called as uh, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. But then he actually goes on to introduce him for the next five minutes. So I don't understand. introduction Thank you for that. Really, really kind of you to say good things about us. But I have to tell you something. I've rarely seen a tech leader. I've rarely ever seen a tech leader who can so easily, because before we walked in here into this room, we were chatting in a smaller room in a smaller gathering. And Nivriti was uh, talking about Ranj, Khugar and Mirza Ghalib. For those of you who are not aware of what Ranj, Khugar or Mirza Ghalib is, she was talking about existential angst and ex existential despair. There she was talking about Mirza Ghalib and now here she is talking about AR, VR, you know, and all the cool fancy stuff that Intel does. So I have rarely seen a business leader, uh, Nivriti, who can transition, who can transcend barriers from Mirza Ghalib all the way to technology on this side. So my compliments to you, my compliments to your entire family of Intel. Raja Garu, in fact, uh, I, I, we were supposed to meet a couple of years back. Raja Koduri and uh, you know our team was supposed to meet two years back when he was with AMD. But uh, it so happened that we crossed our paths. He came to India and I came to, I went to US, to his office in the US. Uh, for Raja, for those of you who are uh, not familiar with him, firstly he is the man, like Riti said, uh, who drove all the SFX in Bahubali. And he is also, in fact, for those of you who may not, may not be aware, He's also, I've just realized and I was just informed, first cousin of uh, SS Rajmoli Garu. So he's the man behind Bahubali and everything or everything that you've seen in that fancy movie. And uh, Raja, welcome to Hyderabad. And I hope uh, you spend more time here than you spend in Bangalore next time. And uh, like it was pointed out, you may have started in Bangalore 20 years ago. Intel may have started out in Bangalore 20 years ago. But I do hope. Dera hai par durast hai wala al chal where uh, Hyderabad has come a bit late on to the scene, but I am sure we will definitely surpass your expectation. Like you said, we won't be another Pune. We will probably outpass and outdo Bangalore pretty soon. And as you wished, as you wished and hoped, Raja, hopefully we will do our excess computer also. India's first from right here. And what do I say about Jay Shanjan? You know, I have a lot of people. Jay Shanjan uh, is our IT secretary. A lot of people, wherever I go, tell me they have. AR and VR and I tell them I have a JR, that is J.A. Sanjay. <laughs> so he's, uh, he's the man. I do the talking, he does all the work. So therefore uh, we are a good team. That's how thing, teams are supposed to work. Koi ek ko baat karna chahiye, kisi aur ko kaam karna chahiye. That's why we work Nivriti. So thank you very much, Jayesh, and uh, you know, for all your efforts. And uh, to the family of Intel, um, all I would say is, you've made the right choice. You've chosen Hyderabad. So I don't have to hard sell Hyderabad to you. But I got to tell you a few things though that are on my plate. Hyderabad in the last five plus years especially, ever since the formation of Telangana, has emerged and has been leading India in terms of attracting marquee names uh, into, into our city, into our country. In the last few years, you know, we have had uh, some significant investments come in from industry majors such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, Salesforce, Qualcomm, Micron, Amazon, Uber, Oppo, OnePlus and now of course, Intel. So delighted that uh, the space is growing. Delighted that we are doing more and more of this. And uh, we are also excited that we are not just a services destination anymore. We are kicked about the fact that Intel, in fact, considers us, um, you know, a, a center where you have quality human resources which can engage in VLSI, which can engage in product innovation, which can build India's first access computer, etc. We also believe that ecosystem is important, like Jayesh pointed out. Unless you have more and more, uh, you know, more of the missing pieces of the puzzle falling into place. And with the help of uh, IIIT, IIT, and, you know, other industry leaders, Mohan Reddy Garu is here. And we also have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, leaders from our own ecosystem, T-Hub, V-Hub, and others. All of us working together is how we will be able to ensure that Hyderabad will continue to grow and um, we'll continue to innovate as well. We also wanted to point out a few things, though. In fact, uh, besides what we already have, we are launching something extremely interesting. Um, I mean, of course, services, product, you know, the, the tech startup scene, all of this is good. But we also ought to be looking at the bigger piece, 
which is electronics manufacturing. In fact, electronics manufacturing is something that we are now focused and now leveraging on the software ecosystem. We are aiming to create a sustainable and well-entrenched ecosystem for electronics and semiconductor R&D and manufacturing uh, companies as well. In the last five years, we've been able to create more than 30,000 employment in electronics manufacturing directly. But with more than, more than you know, uh, uh, enough electronics manufacturers now looking forward to making India the base, we are wanting to grow and we are wanting to grow aggressively. Two days ago, we have had a company from China called uh, Skyworth who had come in and uh, who had promised to set up an industrial park in about 50 acres and with an investment of more than $100 million. We believe this is just the beginning. Our aim is to create more than 300,000 jobs, more than 3 lakh jobs in the next 4 years in the electronics manufacturing sector alone. And I do hope and uh, request both Raja and Nivriti to support us in terms of enabling your suppliers, your vendors, your partners to work with us, whether they are from China, whether they are from Taiwan, whether they are from other parts of the world. We, all, we are also proud to be launching India's first prototyping facility called as the T-Works, which is very, very close to here. And it will be coming up in the next three to four months. And this will help us basically ensure, you know, we give a platform to the designers, to the entrepreneurs and startups in electronics and hardware prototyping and mechanical and design space. In future, we believe that most of the R&D companies that are based in Hyderabad will also look at Hyderabad and Telangana for manufacturing, either it is electronics, components, or even semiconductors. I know Intel has no immediate plans for manufacturing here, but I do hope down the road at some point, um, you know, uh, during the next few years, you will start looking at India with a great deal of intent for manufacturing as well. So we want to be ready to lap up that opportunity as well. History of Silicon Valley, and uh, I'm sure Raja can vouch uh, for this as well, was a combination of electronics R&D and electronics manufacturing. And that is exactly what we want to simulate, what we want to recreate in our own city of Hyderabad. And new cities that have come up in the last 20 years, right in front of our eyes, like Shenzhen, are a great deal of uh, source of inspiration for us. Government of Telangana also intends to create long-term and fruitful association with Intel. As part of that, we would like to partner with you in your growth story, in your progress in India. We really appreciate your ongoing partnership uh, with our initiative called as TASK. TASK is our initiative on skilling. And I'm glad that Intel is already partnering with TASK. I'm also told that Intel team will be conducting a train-the-trainer program on blockchain technology. And I'm delighted uh, uh, with this initiative as well. I also believe we can do more. We have VHUB, the Women Entrepreneurs Hub, which again being uh, you know, uh, one of the rare India women technology leaders, Nivriti, I think uh, with, your, with your guidance and with your support, we certainly can help VHUB and Many young women entrepreneurs from Hyderabad do more. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a very greedy, greedy person and I want Intel and Telangana to do more. One of the things I believe uh, we can do together, I know Intel runs a very highly successful uh, program, the Intel India Maker Lab, now, which is a startup incubation program to support hardware and system, start hardware and system startups. This is right now run in Bangalore is what I'm told. But my request is with T-Works coming up in the next four to five months, this could be an opportune time for us to consider partnering and developing a nice ecosystem here well, along with Intel and we can do that together and we can launch it. Uh, and I'm sure we, I'll invite you back so that, uh, you know, when the T-Works is launched so that you get a first-hand experience of uh, what it is that we're looking to build. Likewise, we also have uh, in the last five years built India's most vibrant and integrated innovation ecosystem, say in the form of T-Hub, now with T-Works and V-Hub. We also have what is called as RICH, the Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad, which again tries to connect the dots between industry, between, between academia, and between what is really required from our ecosystem. With this again, I, I urge you to possibly start working with us on, um, you know, on, on taking our ecosystem to the next level. I have uh, more to ask, but I'll save that for later, but I'll, I'll, I'll just conclude by saying one thing. Not just Intel, but uh, we have lot many other information technology companies which are also in active discussions, active engagements with us. In the last five years, Hyderabad's growth story has been phenomenal. We've surpassed, in fact, uh, to rub salt into those of you who are from uh, over here from Bangalore. Let me, let me rub it in a bit. 
um, in the last two quarters, we have surpassed office space on the office space absorption index. We have outdone Bangalore. We have surpassed Bangalore. And I hope we will continue to do that. But more importantly, we are not just interested in being a services destination. We are not just keen on being the back office for the world. We are keen on occupying you know, the top space on the innovation index. We are keen on making sure that the electronics manufacturing piece, the semiconductor or you know, the other manufacturing piece within information technology industry is also looked at and, and in that space Hyderabad shall be looked at as a destination with a great deal of potential. So good luck to Team Intel, good luck to the family of Intel in Hyderabad. I hope you continue to grow and prosper. Thank you very much for this, uh, uh, for this opportunity for given to me to speak here to address you all. Thanks.